Hey guys, Gleb here from Unix Tutorial. I want to show you super quickly how you could use the curl command that's found on most of the Linux systems to test TCP connectivity. It's actually very simple. We just use the telnet mode of the curl. So when we do this, uh, we use a minus V option for verbosity and we just specify telnet and then provide IP address or the hostname of the server we want to test. And then a port would like to check if it's working. I have my SSH configured on this uh, particular server to be um, port 202 instead of the standard 22. And that's what I expect to see when I run the command. As you can see, it connected. It shows that um, it's successfully connected to port 202. And it even gives me a header from the SSH that confirms the version of the SSH daemon and also the platform. Probably not very good for security, uh, but it's an internal system, so I'm okay with that. Now, uh, it's not gonna stop by itself, so you have to do Control C to break this. Uh, and let me just show you how it would look if we test some port that doesn't work. Uh, like I said, port 22, which is the standard SSH port for remote connection, isn't being configured on this server uh, for just an, a little bit of added security. So when I test port 22, it's actually not going to connect. And as you can see, it shows me that there is a connection refused, which means there are no issues. There is no firewall blocking my access. There is no routing issue. There is no problem connecting from where I'm testing this to the IP address that I specified, but that IP address is not listening and therefore actively refusing connections on port 22. And you obviously can test a website, any public website, just like unixtutorial.org. And if we try port 443, which is the one used for the HTTPS, um, this is going to connect successfully, but not give us much useful information. So it says that it's connected to Unix tutorial on port 443, which is good. Um, my hosting provider listens on this port, but that's about it. Now, what we can also do, just to kind of continue the direction of testing connectivity, is instead of just testing that there is a connection on port 443, which we now know works, we can change the protocol here. And if we change it to HTTPS, then curl will actually attempt to download the page from the unixtutorial.org and also report quite a bit of things uh, as part of it. It's gonna give us a lot of output, basically the whole source of the main page of my website. So um, don't worry about it. Nothing's broken. It's actually supposed to look like this. Here we go. So it shows me the connection of the page with a lot of um, Jekyll related JavaScripts at the bottom of it. But if we scroll, if we scroll to the start of where um, curl command was running, we should be able to see a little bit more of interesting information. Yeah, there you go. So this is where the page starts, right here. But before this, we have all of these standard enough HTTP and HTTPS headers, information about the TLS handshake. And basically, yeah, information confirming that server is serving HTTPS and it has a certificate that's actually a wildcard certificate for anything unixtutorial.org. And that's just the auto-generated one that I have from the Cloudflare, from the Cloudflare. That's it. So uh, that's how you test it. Obviously, if you're interested in just um, the, the, the headers part, there is a, probably a much better way of doing it. Obviously, if you're not interested in the content of the page, you don't want to read all this HTML, you could probably redirect it to some temporary file like this. And that would mean that you're just going to get information about the HTTPS connectivity and the HTTP codes.
the actual content of the page would go to that file that we specified. That's it for today. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe and I'll see you around. And by this I mean I'll see you on my unixtutorial.org website.